while you're traveling now. That's stupid, but you didn't live very long. Not a thing. <clears throat> didn't think so. You're oh. very rarely going to get beef while you're camping. Hmm. What do you get instead? You'll probably find things like fowl, fish, um, rabbits. And those are the ones you need to don't. cook properly. If you... Yes. If you're out stuck in the wild, do not just eat rabbit. It's such a lean meat, it'll kill you. You just eat rabbit. You won't survive on it. It doesn't, like, fill you up enough? When there are animals that lean, you don't actually get anything from it, as far as particular important things to survive. Huh. You have to probably be smarter to eat any type of plant that's edible. But again, as long as you're not surviving long term on rabbit, you're fine. Flip it. Oh, shit. <laughs> get a knife. Cut it open. See what you see. Uh, looks kind of gray. <laughs> it's safe to eat. You can pull it off. It's not gonna taste great, but it's decent. And that's safe to eat. <laughs> It being as grey in the middle, it's gonna be pretty tasteless and like a shoe, but... All the pink's out of it, that's what matters. Put it on a plate, please. Have this bowl. There we go. And then I just... Where's the honey that you bought? Do you have honey? I'll teach you a secret. Give me the carrots. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, be careful with it. Please. Put water in the pan. <sighs> Carrots. Stir them. Yeah. Carrots are tough, so... They require a little bit more time. The problem is if you fry them... They're gonna burn. So you're gonna put more water in. Just enough to cut through the bottom of the pan. But these guys, you're gonna push them around. They need attention. You're gonna take a bit longer to cook than the meat. Sometimes I'll cook them in the same pan. Save time, plus the meat juice kind of makes them tasty. And we don't need Plus to flip if you're these. not going all culinary. Nah, pushing them around is usually good. The heat will go through them. <clears throat> the same thing can be done with potatoes. The interesting thing, though, is if you do it with potatoes, they'll get all mushy. Which isn't bad. Mushy like mashed potatoes. potatoes. Mm. It's all edible. This is, if you're on the road, this is a cooking technique that will work for most vegetables. Or if you're familiar with what you can eat as far as plants. I wouldn't risk it. I'm sure you probably have one of your many friends that can explain to you what not to eat. They just look the same to me. Like all the leaves and all the plants and trees and stuff they're like oh that's a carnivorous gradient that's the problem blah, i keep blah, blah, explaining blah. to you you see everything is the same and i'm telling you like it goes back with that self-esteem thing use your eyes pick out what's really valuable yeah uh -huh. 
keep staring. Oop. How soft are they? Um, I oh yeah. soft-ish. I don't know. I don't know how soft is soft. What's too soft? A little bit longer, and then I'll teach you the best part. Okay. <clears throat> It can get boring, but I kind of like cooking around a campfire. It's nice. Hmm. I've had some great meals with Huskull. He is a... Which, uh, Who's Kyle? Huskull? Skull. You, you don't know Huskull? Sir Rishta. Maybe in stories, but... A brother to Arn, basically. Oh. Really close friends. So an uncle, do you? Exactly. He was a uh, not here anymore. Color, 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 culinary genius. Uh, with a campfire, <clears throat> he's <sighs> um. Well, last we heard, he was off doing a mission, and we haven't heard from him in a while. It's been really bugging on, truth be told. You all showed up at a very good Sorry, time. It's fine. I see. <clears throat> I'm not sure if he's particularly happy at seeing a young woman show up, but... That's the happiest I've seen him in a while. I, I just mean when a lot of people, you know, well, blonde. I'm happy he gets the whole night first thing. A lot of people don't. Hmm. No. The best part. Okay. Put the honey in it. Just... Just put it in? Mm-hmm. Like all of it? Yeah. No. Like... A spoon or so? Only a spoonful. And then just... Mix it in. And keep doing what you're doing. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure the water doesn't get low, because then we fry it. Yeah, exactly. Congratulations. You're learning the rudimentary steps to my favorite dish. Your favorite dish? Honey and carrots is a great dish. I, Don't knock it. No, I just, uh... I'm sorry for butchering it, I guess. You can't really. I think that's what I like about it. Unless you really screw up. And then you take the meat there. And you cut it into, like, little squares. And you just mix it all in together. Actually, you could probably start cutting it into squares and then toss it back in the pan. <clears throat> Guess I don't have to tell you not to cut your fingers off, do I? <laughs> I'm actually quite good with knives, believe it or not. It's way too see my party trick. Kind of figured. I... Don't go to many parties, I don't think I will. <clears throat> Can I give it like two minutes? Mm hmm. Mm. It smells good. The honey is a luxury, but it's pretty much how you would cook meat in any vegetable if you need to. Not super complicated, just timing and what's the word? Uh, when you get good at something and you're like, you have the 
Practice. Well, obviously practice, but when you're like... Confidence. I guess, yeah. Who does the cooking for you? Tavern Cooper. That's usually where I get my How meal. How much does that cost you? Uh, 20 copper. How much did you pay for three ingredients? For three it would be 40. No, was it 60? 30? I won't tell you what to do, but I encourage you to keep practicing on the days you can. Even if it means I eat terribly cooked food and get myself sick. You know, the funny thing is that if you're the one who's eating it terribly, you'll be more <clears throat> empowered to learn to do better. I see. Makes sense. You're not stirring it. Shit. Sorry, I was lost in thought. <laughs> oh god, it's like sticking now. So do you see how, now that you put the meat in, now normally... Uh, I'm gonna criticize you here, that meat is awful. It just, it's not gonna taste great, but it's edible. <laughs> okay. If you cook it to about the rare we talked about, or just enough that it's not pink for anything like the other things I explained. Mm -hmm. And then you toss it in the meat and the honey. It still gives it time to absorb the flavor. Oh. Yeah. Now, if you get your hands on the salt, then you just sprinkle it on on top of it. I actually the have sweet, some salt. Do you salty. It? Hit her up. Uh, I bought this so long ago. And just like that. That was a. Well, they give you a big sack of it. I thought you'd need a lot of it. What? No. Oh. You do understand what restraint is, right? I I have a lot of restraint, actually. Just not with not with that, but like other stuff. You said put salt on it, so I put salt. And this is such a huge sack, and we're not supposed to, you know, like. You... Why would you need that much sack salt? I feel like you're trying to do this on purpose. Grab a pinch of salt. A pinch. Like, enough. When they say pinch, they're kind of lying. It's your three main fingers. The thumb, and the two. And you pinch enough between that, and you just sprinkle it on top. No more, though, because there's already far too much on this. <clears throat> a very salty, carroty, tough meal. You can see why I go to the tavern, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Still probably better than your last attempt. Okay, would you Why rather? are you so afraid of failing? It's like you do absolutely everything in your power to avoid facing failure without realizing that failure, as I said before, is the best teacher, be it cooking or sword skills or anything. Failure gets people killed. Then I suppose I'm just gonna have to be that safe place to fail while you learn. I won't kill you. I'll take it off the fire. I... Heat is hot. I think these gloves would be more protective. Give me strength. Whatever. Gods. Lord. It smells good. Mm-hmm. 
Let me see your hand. Take the glove off. Oh my god. Come here. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Keep it there. Next time, usually, you can use your shirt bundled up, a cloth. That's your sword fighting hand. Don't be an idiot. Sword fighting hand is my left hand. Unless I use you a shield. You use both. Yeah. Or a dagger. Come on. So, would you rather have that or hard tack? Hard tack because it's easier to travel with. <clears throat> okay, say you're not traveling. Actually, that's a stupid question. Never mind. Do you want a hand? I don't know how you cooked this. It's the, the honey, <laughs> the honey stuck to the side of it. If I wasn't traveling? Still the hard tuck. You know how you asked me what I do for fun? Sure. I've learned to enjoy my own company. That's why I know a little bit about cooking. So if I have the opportunity to cook, I will. <clears throat> it's not great, like I said, but... That is your bowl from breakfast. Are you stupid? I thought you shared some... Oh, we're not... You're not gonna no. share with me? You're not I gonna... want you to try your food. Oh, but I'm so full <laughs> from breakfast. I. <laughs> I'll eat some of your food once you've practiced more. <laughs> I was good. almost going to, but the salt, the salt, I. It's I so, won't do that to myself. It's so good, you would Let me get you water. Mmm. Stop spinning it out and eat what you made. Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm, so good. Why the fuck is Kedge? You don't have to pretend it's good. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so fucking bad. Now, I've... what are we going to do when we cook next? Less salt. <laughs> good. See? You learn. I feel like I filled my mouth with sand. Mm. <laughs> mm. Here. Thank you. Oh. You lack <sighs> patience and discipline. That's mostly what cooking is, isn't it? <laughs> It is, and oddly enough, it translates to a lot of your other lessons in life. You need to pay attention when you're doing something. Humor is all fine and dandy, but it has a place. Now, do you want to be stuck eating something like that when you're out on the road? No, you don't want to do that to yourself, do you? Mm -mm. Or any of the people you're traveling with, huh? Mm -mm. No. Now chew it. And swallow. <sighs> do I have to eat all of this? I, I feel like my lesson's learned. You do. Because sometimes you don't get a choice. 
That's the only food you have while you're traveling. I've eaten rotten apples that taste better than this. Not sure why you would eat rotten apples. I didn't have anything else. <clears throat> I'm going to assume that this was before mm -hmm. the Lord found you. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to make him a meal? Since he worked so hard. You think he'd eat it? I think if you practiced. I think he would. And I think he'd be very proud of you. People offer him meals all the time. He doesn't really take them. I think you'd be surprised if you made him something. And paid attention. That's something to aim for then. You know, the carrots aren't bad if you kind of, like, dust off the salt. Yes, you managed to ruin my favorite dish. I did warn you. I know. And as I told you, failure's part of the process. Do you want to know what my favorite food is? What's your favorite food? Oranges. 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 I love them. Why? Well, <clears throat> as I was growing up, <clears throat> sometimes we'd had to steal to eat rotten apples and such. Every now and then, mm. we'd get some oranges, and they were like... Like your honey carrots. You know? Like, imagine eating terribly, and then suddenly eating, like honey carrots then I got really I, you know you like it's like a, the, the gem of like if you find a good orange it's like a great day then I came to our land and I was sad I didn't really have oranges there but <clears throat> one day Ledford had an import of guardian oranges and I had one and it was like boom. just brought me back I guess so Oranges. Simple. Mm hmm. Can't really fuck up an orange. <sighs> In my defense, it's pretty hard to fuck up carrots. <laughs> Yet I find a way to do it. How's that? There's like juices at the bottom. I don't have to drink that, do I? Hmm. No. <sighs> but you're fed. That's what's important, right? Right. <clears throat> Thank you for teaching me. a skill can have you fighting <clears throat> some fierce battle and then dying of starvation that would be a terrible way to go your book would suck <laughs> my book <laughs> I guess it is a book huh yes usually that's what stories are bound <clears throat> together on parchment I just consider them scribbles but no you're right okay what's next there it is, that low self-esteem again. Hmm? What's next? Let's go find you someone to entertain you. <laughs> you drop me off at daycare. Maybe. If you want to stay I here and like... just read, I can go about my own stuff. You don't have to babysit me the entire day. I know. Okay. Go oh, have fun. I do want to read, even though I've read your books a thousand times. I like my privacy sometimes. Sure. Uh, you can find me if you need me. 
I'm sure I will. Fuck it. These gloves are inside. <clears throat> I will keep my ears open if anyone wishes to see that happen. Yes. If you're willing to make a hell of a silver, I do need help figuring out the, the bow That's issue. Like at least in terms of mechanics. What is, <laughs> what is your bow? I don't make bows. I could make a crossbow. Uh, I know. The, so, uh, what, what exactly you, were you hunting? You I'm assuming you're a hunter, no? Release the string and hold Pair of hunters. Dynamic duo, yes. Wait, suppose you could call us that? That's what it is, right? That's what you could have a hand in making. You are rocking that shirt. Where are you going? Mon ami, you are just oh, rocking it. The color palette, the red, eh, it no, I, could no, be I different, remember. but you are rocking it against it's your soft. purple skin. Not judging, though. Maybe. I, 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 uh, where is the bartender? I am literally dying of dehydration. I have been for about two days, and I'm going to collapse on the floor any moment now. Uh, well, not like don't, don't worry, I, I pray to the god. Uh, they'll be here any minute. I hope so. <laughs> I will do it myself if I fuck But, um, Shriek, how are you? I'm surviving. I'm surviving. Yeah. I, I think all, all of us are. <clears throat> you guys are fighting orcs today. Where's the five one got away. Where's the tender? Uh, I'm just a potato peeler, but um oh, maybe I can me maybe I can help. Mine good. I would like um, a drink of something I, as soon as possible. Yeah. Um <laughs> sure something sure oh, these life. are clean, right? Thank good. Okay, let's let me see. Good. Good that was yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh good. I was just I'm I've just peeled I just helped peel potatoes. Where's where's Gerbin? Just, if you need a bottle of drinks, just, do you need anything out of food? Oh, um, I didn't give them anything. I was just gonna give them a cup of this stew here. They can drink the soup, right? And then you release it and it hits. Yes. Uh, come on, come on. Okay, maybe right here, here, here. That's hot. Oh, oh my hand hurts. Here you go. I'm, I need to treat this burn. I'll be right back. it's a long, long way from the sea to land. Do not have to swallow your hand in hand. Let it see to your way. Oh, God, I'm not here. He's not here. No, but we have other people. No, they're not going to buy a potion from her. Luke of Rope. Here's your soup. I don't know, apologies, I'm having issues with, uh, <coughs> gathering the balls at the moment. Could I get one more soup before I'm out of here? Maybe Sonia would want to buy one. And then you told him it was kind of dire. Mug of me. it is up to you. Right. Enjoy your time with your mead. That's a good question. No right. idea. Mead? Yeah. All right. I assume he's at the clinic. Uh, I'll take out the 40 copper. <laughs> They're at the beach. At the beach? Which beach? Which beach? No idea. So much. I mean, people have apparently gone off to the beach. <sighs> I heard them talking about it. Hmm. <laughs> if you want to go tang, you can. I 
They give me an excuse to look on my ass. Fair. And it didn't seem like they you wanted know, to be all in the same way. But at some point, uh, where it's Dior. happy hour in the world, if it's big enough, you know, anyway. I assumed, you know, the sun has to go somewhere. Might as well go somewhere else over land and the night comes out. I'm just gonna take this rope. It's a weird thought, and I know, but I hurt. One of our basics. So if it is happy hour, it's more enjoyable to be drinking with other people. And you look positively miserable. Drinking <coughs> need anything else? I'm just stopping by for a drink before I continue on. No time for conversations, unfortunately. <sighs> I see. Though I appreciate the offer. Resting. I mean, I know in this soup at least I can smell poor meat, so. Yeah, that is good. Oh, this is such a busy town with everything I've heard about it. Uh, surely not all the stories I've heard traveling up the uh, Courier grapevine is true, no? Ships coming to harbor, size of uh, <laughs> battleships, honestly, if I uh, got my box correct. It's like a. Like a fortress on water, no? That the Imperials came in with? Something like that, yeah. They sat for a while and then they left. Must be one heck of a burden to carry living in this town with all those uh, bang tubes uh, poking out of it, no? It was a little concerning, but... I mean, what are we going to do about it? Look at you. It's not even close to the burden on your shoulders, is it? You have no idea. Obviously. I don't even have your name, so I don't know where to begin. But, I've seen Diamond doesn't like a face like yours before. A bit different, sure, but... The sunken eyes are a bit dead of a giveaway. no. I work hard. What can I say? It is, uh, uh, I should be honest, a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine, but um, I find it healthy to uh, pass the time talking to strangers, no? I'm a courier. So if you are worried about me saying anything to anyone else, I am <laughs> rather a, well, romantically so, a lone ranger, you may say. Not a ranger, yeah, though. No. Uh, like, I, I say, would probably day, get kicked then... out the day I try to initiate if any oh, type well, of ranger would try to take me in. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta start. This is someone who likes talking, is all. You know, uh, that's how you want anything to uh, talk yeah. while drinking, I or if you'd like me to shut up and just take head. another swig, that'd be your choice. Mine, Freuda. Well, I mean, just trying to give you heads up, mine. I actually just finished. So you have, well, uh, a Vida um, a Riva Deci, so on so forth, minor purple friend. I, actually, hey, can fuck? I ask something? I heard from one of my guys that the uh, priest that went through town and said some unsavory th things. It's not the first time. <sighs> I'm sorry that happened. That was dropped on us last minute. We didn't even know he was coming. Would you have done anything different if you knew otherwise? For what it's... Would have given you a heads up, at least. Either way, I apologize for my... <laughs> Countryman's words. Forgive this sudden reaction. You just no, it doesn't do anything. But... You fight for these people, Sanders. Hair, by the way. It's very pretty. You represent their values. Very nice. Mm. Thanks. I'm going to I try to represent the values I stand by. I can see you got four dead orcs. Yeah, well, what happens when those values don't line up? I wonder. If you excuse me. Oh, sorry, wait, wait, wait. Take care, mate. Walk with me, Tori. Do you know why they're looking for... Yeah, do you know why they're looking for Marco? People are looking for Marco? Yeah, the guards, they just nabbed Gorbanan as well as Roshan, and they brought them to the keep. It's the first I've heard of it. 
I don't know what's going on, but they, uh... The, uh, the Markle's guard managed to escape and give us word that they, they're asking about Markle and trying to find Markle and all this kind of stuff. They managed to pay off with like six silver and said, oh, probably going to get tortured though. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Me, me neither. Like I said, first I've heard of it. Yeah. Allegedly, they've okay. been mouthing off the guards. Right. They should put us all in chains then. Uh, totally. Yeah. It's not going to be accurate. Is what I, is, 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 sure even if it existed. Silver two silver copper. Fair enough. Such an unruly payload. He's not. Why do you think? Why do you think? Doors being opened. More customer come through. Ah, uh, that's fair. That's fair. More traffic. Hmm. Oh, you know what I'm there. doing? Yeah. Hey, where? Hello! Would you like cheese and salam? Yeah, Best cheese and salam in all notice! Wow, yeah. you got nice... Wow, that big dog! We'll take a salam. That's your dog? Yeah. Oh, kind of. You want buy salam? We'll have a salam. Copper. Special price, just for you! <sighs> Thank no, you. bad dog! It's okay, there you go. Get away! There's, there's your 15. Get away! That's the one I bought. Hey! Hey, that's the one I bought, it's fine, it's okay. There you go. Okay, that's very good. You want to buy more? Uh, you look very hungry. Look, I'll tell you what. Here's another 15. And if the dog happens to snag another one by accident, just hopefully that covers it. If not, great. You earned an extra 15. How about that? Okay, you get good salam, okay? Thanks, Pepe. Hey, you know, take... Hmm? Hmm. You okay, Harry? Uh, you know where Venora is? Um, she might be in her apothecary. She was at the tavern like five minutes ago, but I didn't see which way she went. We can go check if you'd like. She's not there. I already looked. Uh, it's a shame. I'm sorry. You know O'Shawn? Yeah, I actually just heard about that. No. Oh. Well, then I guess you already know he was taking up that then. Yeah, I don't know why, though. Mm. Well, uh, you have a good rest of your day, then. Give me if you need me. Be right back, chat. <clears throat> A knocking at the door.
is cold. It's fucking cold today. <clears throat> Others knocking at the door. Okie dokie. Huh, huh. Huh, yeah. Huh, yeah. I grab my clothes. I put them on. <sighs> yeah, um, Ocean. Um, he's currently in the custody of the guards. What? Yes. Where? He's being interrogated. Uh, blame Mark. Where? Oh, come on, I walked in and it's the key. I apologize, Matt. At the key? At the key. They have the key. Vestrin is. Vestrin is handling it. Yes. Go speak to Vestrin. He'll he'll be able to tell you okay, more. Okay. He's the one that went okay, to see the information. Chemates. <laughs> Mm. Well, town's on busy. Not oh. even here. Hi. Right. I heard knocking at my door. Hi. Did you want to talk to me? It was me. You got a couple customers and then I would like to speak to you. What do you need? No, not me. Oh, no, no. Really People just fucking stand here. Come on. I don't know. Oh. Have fun. Oh, those are cute. Snooze you lose. You buy, snooze, you lose. I'm fucking sick and p tired of people just hanging around the fucking forge all day. Oh, you and me both. It's yeah. just not my place to get angry about. It's not my business. I'm but gonna get more if you want to now. vent about it, I am. <sighs> well, I'm not all ears, but I'm some ears. They fucking fuck me off. Ow. You'd see on his hand. You there should quit. A Tell your father that. Big burn mark mm. across the palm of his hand. Who the fuck did that? <laughs> I did. <laughs> what? How? Cooking lesson gone poorly. I'm learning. What? Badly. Cooking? <laughs> yes. Why do you need to learn to cook? I don't know. It's part of it. Come and sit down. Oh, she's gonna be a real fucking thorn in my side. I can feel it. <sighs> What's up? And, hang on, wait, how are you, I should ask? Last we spoke, mm, it was a little... Not Thai anymore. I'm sorry? I did spice again, for the last two days. I didn't have any other option. Things are starting to get too much. But now I don't have any more. And I don't plan to get any more anytime soon. I sold quite a bit today and I've saved up a lot of money for you and your father. I don't really need it. But I think I'm done for now. It made the pain go away, but it didn't fix the problem. And I can't be weak right you. now with the matron in town. I know, but I I felt alone, and like the only thing I did to have was that spice. This woman, she's here for a reason. She's training you for a reason. I'm going to tell you something, and I'm not going to tell you to not be angry with your father over this. But does he plan to take you on the ship? Yeah. That was always the plan. When I first... Then he lied to me, or he lied to you. What do you I mean? Think... He told me this was a suicide mission, and that he was going to leave without you and Raylan. But it seems like things have shifted. I he's he's smiling now, the shadows are off his face. Whoever these people are, they're not a bad thing, but He wasn't lying to you. I don't know. It makes sense. Uh, he told me the other day that I don't think it's like that anymore. 
I don't think it is either. Let's... He told to you what, house. sorry. Uh, yeah. Have you seen what are you doing all hooded up? Anywhere? That way, uh, Bez. He's by the arches. Okay, thank you. Mm. Whatever's going on, I want no fucking part of it. More sure with the guards, I guess. Everyone's up in arms. Yeah, they threatened the coin cousins. He told me the other day that he was glad Raylan left. <clears throat> In a way. Safer for her. And he was right. At the time it was a suicide mission. So I guess it makes sense that he would want me to stay. I just... I don't like the lying. Not to you, not to me. Before this ship sets sail, that needs to stop. I know why he was doing it, I just... It's okay to hurt and be angry with him. He was going to leave you without saying anything. I wasn't going to say anything, too. If you want to be angry at anyone, you can be angry at me. And it wasn't because he was going to slit my throat. It was because I knew you wouldn't let him leave without you. And now you don't have to. I didn't think that was something I'd worry about. Though there was the understanding there. The best we can do is feel our feelings and then move on. Especially if things have changed. He wouldn't be putting this much effort into you if he wasn't taking you with him. There's a spark in his eyes now. It's hope. I don't want you to go, but... I have no right to pull you away from him. Honestly, I was kind of hoping to convince you to come with me. <clears throat> but if you... I can make the matron leave before then. I have a long time. Yeah. You will be there and back in a blink of an eye. <laughs> if you do come back. I would like to eventually. Who knows? Maybe I will come with you. But right now I have a lot to do in this town before I think of packing up and moving on anywhere. But it's possible. I don't have roots here. But what place would I have? 
This woman, she takes up all your free time now. I have to hide you in my home for a conversation. I knew something like this would happen eventually, I just... It came out of nowhere. Can you at least promise me one thing? You know how I am with promises, Sarah. It will be an easy one, I think. Never forget your other side. No matter how much they try to squash it out of you. <clears throat> I can do that. Thank you. Like I said the other day, <laughs> no matter how much they teach me, no matter how much they want me to do things by the book, I'm tricky and sneaky at heart. That's how I've always been. I better figure something out, because I don't think I'm going to be able to watch you leave on that boat. Maybe I should stop chasing ghosts. I have to go on that boat. I do. I know. I've known that for years now. I used to want to fight it. To steal you away. Every single time I watched your father hit the ground, bleeding his lifeblood. I wondered if this was it, when I'd be able to take hold. But that Cerevith is gone. And there is something new budding right here. I found a man today, a human. His name was Alden. He had been attacked by orcs, ripped open. Soma wouldn't have been able to do anything. And instead of slitting his throat and moving on, I held him. I held him until he died. And it didn't disgust me. He has a sister. Her name's Sarah. Sarah with an H. I'm going to find her. Give her some of this money I made. Let her know her brother. Won't be coming back home. The surface has made me squishy, Kyla. Squishy and malleable and sad. For the broken things. I was just about to say how proud of you I am. Ugh. It scares me. It means people can hurt me now more than ever. Yeah, it does. That's, you know, part of it, I guess. I don't wanna... The pain is just the beginning. And I am proud of you. Are you? I learn more about you every day, whether you tell me or not. And each day, I grow less and less weary of your half-breededness. Every day it becomes less important. I've met people on the surface just like us, who live and do as they wish. You know what they called the drow of the Underdark? Slaves. To the matron. Got me thinking. Yes, to the matron, to the dominion, to the goddesses, to the etiquette and culture of cloak and dagger, murder and lying and manipulation. 
They're just slaves. You knew this of a already. Different breed. Slaves of the mind. I didn't. You called us free. I never looked at it like that. Remember? Maybe you just didn't know it. No. I was so busy being prideful of my people and everything they've accomplished, good and bad, and in between. But I never realized, like, why? They don't even like me. They sold me. They didn't want me, so why should I want their approval? You know what I've been doing up here this whole time? Why I was sold here? Information gathering, no? To bring something back, to become worthy to someone, useful. Not anymore. I think I'm going to stay up here for a while. Build. No more chains. Grow. No more chains. That makes me happy. And? Truly happy. <laughs> Even if I do have to watch you disappear over the horizon, you will be able to find me and notice. Physically, or a trail, I'll be there. You know where I'll be. Fighting the good fight. Doing Hopefully my I best. hear the news of the re-established kingdom of Gwyn. Led by a drow and his old man. <laughs> yeah, if I can get these fucking lessons right. Otherwise, it'll all just collapse again. That's why it's so important, I guess. <clears throat> yes, this woman beating the fuck out of you and making you drop to your knees is not my favorite. But your father has never done anything wrong by you. Not once. She is a splash of ice water in the face to me. That's her role. She looks like a bitch. Does she treat you like shit? No. I know she's not supposed to be your fucking new mother or anything, but... She... she... Her job is to bring the best of me out. Right? And she's... Going to do that. She won't be my best friend while doing it. <clears throat> as she says. But she's not cruel. She just... Wants me to be better. Do you trust her? Mm. Do you like her? I admire her dedication. I'm still figuring out if I like her or not. I trust her enough to train me, to teach me things. But... <sighs> should I continue scowling at her? Or should I give her a chance? What do you think? Give her a chance, and then give her a couple more, because she's not really a people person. Oh, we have that in common. I didn't want to say anything. If I'm anything, Kyla, I am not oblivious to my own problems anymore. She's Fine. strong, she's capable, you'd like that. Yeah, I already do, but it still pisses me off that she's here. I could have trained you. Not to fear lord. Not to cook, but... Oh, fuck that. No, if that's what she's doing. Exactly. That's what it is. Posture and writing and how to send missives. I'm going keeping... to put a fucking book on your head and tell I'm... you to walk in a line. Uh, she hasn't, but I think she might. <laughs> it's that. It's so that uh, when I get to Gwyn, Sarah... Me. They don't laugh me out of court. Aren't they already going to do that? I don't need to give them any more reasons to. I need to compensate for this. I need to compensate for not being his actual son. I need to compensate for being purple-skinned. A lot of them, they've been born into this... Imperium. They don't know better. I need to work harder Is to that overcome that. I want to show them that I can have pride in it. 
So you do want it to be a lord. I have the chance to do a lot of good. Yeah. For a lot of people. You could also stay here and build a fucking empire with me. I'm already going up the ladder. I can take you with me. It's just an option. I'm not going to make you think I'm trying to sway you. In the end, I want what you want for yourself. But if for some reason you're pretending to want to do all of this just because you love your father, I'll be here. I appreciate getting the options. Not a luxury I've usually had, so I thank you. I can't say I'll take it up, but... I'll always be an option for you, Kyla. <laughs> you need a way out, you know where to find me. We could escape and go to that one of... What, what was that name of the monastery you'd never been to? Something something. Something something. You are going to do good things, wherever you choose. You already have. I can guarantee you are the first half-drow of your kind to ever become a lord of a kingdom. It's yeah. pretty rad. I kind of don't want to throw it away, you know. <laughs> I don't want you to either, but... I also don't want you to lose your dark side, if you would. I, s I understand the confliction, I do. I'll get over it. Look at you. I have saved up quite a bit of coin for your father and his ship. I don't know if you will still need it. You'd be willing to part with that. The whole amount, but... Well, it is one of the reasons why I've been saving up. It just depends on if they get desperate or not. I could use a slave, but I've been conflicted in buying one. At first, I was okay with it out of spite, but... I don't know. I don't think I'm going to anymore. Doesn't feel right. What happened last night to you? Did you go on this big fucking trip? How much... Oh, how I much got really spice high. did you do? What did um, you see? Well, I had a wine bottle, and I held it up to the sun, and explored it for a while. It looked like the Red Sea. I wondered if there were pirates in it or not. And then the matron showed up, looking for the gem, which... I guess today's just been a good day. Everything is going my way. I didn't die to orcs. I got the crystal from Vesrin. I made a shit ton of fucking money. I bought my first leather armor set in two fucking years. Bought a dress. One of those spider silk normal. ones. I don't know. It's hanging up on the door. You're gonna see, it looks frilly as fuck, all black, with a rose insignia on the chest. You would not see Cerebeth wearing that. It's, um... It's a choice. It's a choice. I know it's ugly. I did say that. It's It's ugly, I know, but... If we buy all of them, the man will be interested in selling us more. Could you turn those so into spider silk fucking armor? atrocious. We need a professional. That is armor. I wear that. I'm protected. Interesting. Just like leather. 
Except they won't know. So when they try to stab me and it doesn't go their way, they're going to be very confused. And then I can slip my knife out of my bosom and take care of them. Just in case I ever have to dress up, you know? Protection, but at what cost? Just in case. Looking like a bad bitch, that's what. <laughs> it's alright, I can make it work. I might rip the fucking frills off. Mm. It's not as poofy as the other ones. The other ones looked like fucking god, they were like... It's a staple mm -hmm. among nobles, apparently. Disgusting. They all look fucking stupid. They should wear skin-tight dresses that flow around their legs. If it makes you feel better. Apparently, one of the, the great things I have to look forward to about this whole Lord thing is learning how to dance eventually and wearing frilly fucking clothes. So you won't be <laughs> alone in that regard. Well, you know what? I'll make you a promise. If you come back, or if I go with you, I will be your dance partner and I will learn to dance with you. Two drow on the dance floor. That's a <laughs> statement. <laughs> just your par just your dance training partner. I don't think I would hold up in court very well or in a ball of any type. Mm. Especially near the Imperium. Especially not wearing that. But if I go with you, uh, yes. Mm, I would need to get a full wardrobe change if I were to leave Nautis. Pretty sure if I dressed like this in a city like where you're going, I would be arrested on sight. Probably, yeah. <clears throat> Especially, like I said, most of the people there are... Well, what? Gewen was annexed 20, 30 years ago. A lot of the populace was born in that in that time. So they're raised with the indoctrination of the Imperials. It would be a hard thing to break. It's going to be very difficult. Yeah. I believe in you and your father, though. We're hearing things. We're hearing of uprisings, uh, disgruntled people. Gion stands strong. Even Astagon. It's not as big of a fight as we thought it was going to be. It will still be terrible, but... I so think the that's... hope runs deeper than just these two strangers showing up. With what news they've told us, yeah. That's why I'm smiling so much. I think... Well, yeah, he told you. It was a suicide mission. A blaze of glory. One last thing for Gwen. But now he thinks we can actually win. I think so too, if you go with him. But not if you stay. He needs his blind side covered, and you do that very well. You summon the crossbow. I'm thinking about it, I genuinely am. I know you're not leaving tomorrow. I won't push. <clears throat> Only if you promise that I get to be your dance partner for your training. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> you Maybe might... that's what I can break the ice with that. You might take one bitch. lesson and then be like, nope, this is not for me. <clears throat> not for you. I'm not doing it for me. I know how to dance. Not in a fucking ballroom, but I know how to dance. I've had one dance lesson. Got rhythm. And it was by fucking Basil. Well, now it's my mission to dance with you. <laughs> when I know how to dance, I will take a dance with you. How about that? <laughs> Otherwise, it would be embarrassing Boring. for me. So what? I've literally seen you at your worst. What could be more embarrassing? You've seen me at mine. Lo 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 lo. Uh, stop. Lo lo. Do a spin. And waltz, or whatever it's called. <laughs> mm. 
You seem to be doing better. I am glad. I was worried for you. Is she doing better or is she a really good actress? Who knows? No one will ever find out. Mm Mm-hmm. Quite a long con. Oh, my Kyla. How you've grown into such an interesting drow. You were the first free-thinking drow I ever met. I hope you know that. Well, I'm glad I set your expectations low. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here, it's stuffy. Unless you have more to gossip about and cry. <sighs> I'm hurt about the drug thing. Yeah. I regretted it the moment I did it. I'm going to try not to do it again. Luckily, I don't have any. You can search around if you want. I sold it all. That's where your money came from. It makes me feel good. Yes, it makes me feel good, but it doesn't help. It doesn't help. I will not be enslaved by anything ever again. Human, elf, or powder. lucky it took me 40 years to learn that come on <laughs> so your voice sort of bounces back and forth all around the inside of your mouth yeah with everything you do not know it's a baby do you mind? I need to f- brush him. Absolutely. Go for it. My legs are fucking tired because <coughs> in my brain I did a two hour full body workout, so I'm gonna sit. Oof. Oh my god, where did that come from? <coughs> Pretty horse. Scary creature. Big yeah. fucking feet. Yep. I thought so too. <laughs> They're frightening. You know, horses are very rare in the Underdark. They are terrifying. We do have them for the military, <clears throat> but... Yes, when I came to the surface, when I saw them running a mark, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> horses don't really work down there, you know? Can't really see much. Well, Tazim was saying that if I bond well enough with the horse that I have, eventually there'll be a time where they trust me enough to guide them in the dark. But that's a long way off. Really? Maybe that's what they did. Because that would be and fucking. The best person for that's a drow. That's yeah. insane. Yeah. It'd be fucking t- uh, pointless if I'm trying to ride a horse and I have to use a torch at the time. So if I can get this guy to trust me enough, over time, he'll just believe that I have his best interest in mind. Trust of an animal in its owner. Exactly. It's so interesting that you and your father have taught me something about the underdog. (laughs) Well, they have to trust the rider specifically, so it's a long process. And it's hard to do in difficult terrain because they can't see things, so they could trip easy, and that's dangerous. So it's not like I'd be taking him off-road, but then again, maybe the horses in the Underdark are f- f- built different. I think they poach them from the surface, to be honest. I don't think they're native down there. Their eyes get milky white after a time, obviously. That's what usually happens to ones without sight in the Underdark. It's too dark. Their eyes cease to work. <coughs> Good lad. Mm, it's lit. 
Well, it doesn't have hands. It can't, like, feed it into its mouth, so it just... <laughs> yeah. It's been a quiet day. That means someone's either going to die, is currently dying, or will die. Or has died. That's very insightful. Yep. Covering all the bases so I sound super smart. You wanna get a drink? Oh, well that's where everyone is. Sure! I'm sober. That's the whole point, because oh. eventually someone, at some point, you have to lie. Because then, you know, you always have to go up. Thank you for the information. Where do you want to sit? Honestly, let's play a better game. What the fuck? How did you talk about that? What did you do? Okay. Um, what? What? Where'd you come from? Boom! You were not just here? Where'd you come from? I just came here. I just got here. Do you want us to go? They jumped. You can go if you want. I was hoping to buy drinks. No, 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 it's fine. Just wait. You don't win money. That way. Did you jump off my fence? Damn it. Simple 50 well, it's a pretty low fence. I'm not anyway, here. Come on. Uh, okay. Okay. O'Shawn will oh. have one of the strongest you've got. Yeah, big boy. Me and Al will have yeah I guess lines don't fucking work here. Yeah. 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 That's fine. It's whatever. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and take a seat. Aegon was down. talking about something no, sorry. interesting earlier. He's wearing the helmet thanks. of an old We'll have two anchors. Called the Golden Tigers. Or bloody anchors. You know who that is. Golden Tigers. This is the legend of the arena. You suffer those. To fight like a rabid animal, they say. People's throats up with their teeth, claw them up. Their hands uh, wasn't the forty copper for the casino pit. Or they did some sort of thing. Their way out of it to the Prova. When she won, though, that's when the legend actually starts. Said she stayed in Corcaeus for a while. Uh, Free. Fighting off anyone who was trying to fuck with the uh, orphans and get them in the fight pits. After uh, that, for a few years, various stories of guards getting attacked, uh, slavers what getting found. What a legend! Found. If she's real, I hope I meet her one day. That sounds awesome. Who's this? She a woman. Was uh, the a woman. golden tigress. Gotta do this manually. A woman really gladiator who won fights. Who it wasn't uncommon, mm. but... Two bloody anchors. Thank you. It happened occasionally. I have never seen a, a woman in those bits. Not in here. In uh, Corricadus. Every yeah. now and then one no, or two would pop a... up. There have been two fighters. There's been two fighters. Really? Well, I haven't been to every fight. So. Yes. That's interesting. Well, if Most she's ever around, recent... you should bring her to me, because I would love to have a conversation well, with her. Fuck me. Oh. The golden tiger. She's the golden tiger. Well, I know she's not here. Well, I mean, he has a helmet. Wherever she went to, she went or what she did. Hope she's still kicking out. I hope so too, but she's one of the oldest, older ones. I see. Thank you for telling me. There is a there is a monk in the like the mountain. Oh, cool. Yeah, I promise. I am good at this. Interesting. She she won two v one in her first fight. It's a fun game. That's awesome. Hopefully she becomes a legend too. Yeah, I'll learn at some point. You're gonna become a legend too, Dread. Hopefully it takes Leslie a few years before she gets to champion or challenger. Otherwise I'd have to put her back in her place. <laughs> Either dead oh, or so back in the Have you seen Basil around? Place. I need to get Basil her son. She's right over there, eh? Okay. Okay. Really Perfect. Oh, good. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Can you sit yeah. and enjoy? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. The alcohol and just my system and all of the pains and aches from those orcs. Go away. <sighs> he attacked by orcs. I nearly died. Oh yeah, there were like 
30 or 40 of them. We yeah. got swarmed. Uh, They've been expanding into the woods. And it was just... <laughs> and it was just me and Shilbrook and Soma uh, going in. God. And then we had to run to the fucking castle. I have never been so scared in my life, I don't think. Uh, that's my cup, yeah, by the way. Uh, I didn't finish it exactly. Do you mind if I have a finish of that water and then you can just put it back? Two. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, it sucked, but I got tin silver, so. Bloody hell. I've made. All of you are out there fighting orcs. I have oh. made over a gold today in sale. I would pay you, but I'm broke. Christ. Because I gambled too bad. Nah, don't worry about it. I've had a good day. Mmm. Mmm. Who's a drug lord of Nordis? Mmm. It's not him. Mmm. Mmm. I'm him. What are you looking at? I would sit down huh? and talk yeah, to you. That's what I thought. But I don't think I'm welcome in there anymore. Nice haircut, idiot. I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm just sort of standing out here yeah, and he yeah. says I'm okay to come back in. Was... <laughs> Something I wasn't You own a weapon? Honestly. He's been uh, taking yes, care I do. of that plant for a while. I mean best thing Whoa. to do so would be able to buy yourself a silver. Sure. It's a mercenary guild and pay the trading today. I am no fighter, so I am a curious. I am a curious. I mean, I'm sure you can fight. You can just simply go on a training, trading, and drinking. There's no way to get that. Mm -hmm. It's quiet. Definitely could be worse. I wasn't like beset by orcs or anything like that. Which is strange because I normally do. I would like to fight more. Well, we got a, something coming up. Yeah, definitely on the list. Stuff is pretty strong as you Not can reach for something else, so... Uh, <laughs> 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 There's some drug addicts called hey, Jada Bernard. Hey, a bug's another one. <laughs> <laughs> Heard Morgan <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> something That's about... What, uh, uh, Devin. <coughs> Get into poem making. Uh, yeah, we'll fill you... Hmm. Read poems to people. Huh. Yeah, I'm I'm ambushing the ambush. Basically, yeah. He told me a bit. Yeah. Oh, I see. Hmm? It doesn't exactly look as well as it should. Oh, yeah, it does sound cool. What the fuck was that? Mm. Get out of my way. Cool. Uh, speaking of where is my man, I said. I was a little shocked to the person who was this guy and they didn't see my drink. But I mean... Hello, mon ami. I am... Better than the hero of Nautis. A pleasure to meet you. And gratitude. You mean the home invader of Nautis? Oh, my God. Lafayette. He's the home invader of Nautis. Lafayette? Oh, was that mm -hmm. my He's invading homes? Yeah. What does it mean? She, she oh, no, Did you not know the, the hero of Nordis has been breaking mm. into homes and stealing shit? Well, that's mm. what's Wait, what? You know I saw him get his ass kicked by a chicken over at the farm? He got beaten up by a cockfish. He got all by himself in the corner. By a what? Oh, really I am you know nothing. going... What? Shevrik, Shevrik did Billy no mates. 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 Have you not heard that before? <laughs> That's a pretty common thing where I'm from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could stay there. Very good. Rolls off the tongue. Yeah. I won't I try to have an opinion over farm, here, promise. And he was running away uh, from someone. What is I'm happening? Not really sure. I, think I can't keep up. What do you mean? While he was sitting out there, he said I needed to hide him. But as soon as he said that, a chicken came running up and pushed his ass. I'd actually save him from the chicken. <laughs> he gives a hero a bad name. Or he gives heroes a bad name. Is this a hero? It sounds like a chest, though. I need to piss, so I'm gonna disappear under this table, okay? Good. He's not the hero of no. I'm gonna pick my feet up. Yeah, he's the home invader of Nordis. Too late. I'm not sure the guy broke into the Fletcher's place. Is that a terminology? Hello, Miss Basil. A hero is a terminology oh, hello. decided by the strongest. Hey, did someone try to talk to you? It's a title. About? So about um, 
good deeds, good work. He wanted to know that if he couldn't find Miss Venora and or Miss Wolf, if you would like to accompany us someplace. Just the pavilion. I can tell you more uh, when it's not so crowded. Justin. Yeah, um, I can come with you. I put my armor on. What's the name of the opposite? The opposite of a hero would be a villain. Okay, I'll go grab it now then. Now that's just if we can't find Miss Fenora or Miss Wolf. I know he has to write some things and then he was going to come through. Okay. So. <laughs> Am I expecting trouble? I'll take your time is what I'm saying. Um, I hope not. Okay. <clears throat> Everything okay? A bandit if you were it? to rob caravans. Um, He's just worried about something. <laughs> and I would like to feel more comfortable myself, which is why I am I asking for you. Okay. Yep. Um, if you can't find them, come grab me. If I'm not busy. Thank you. Well, I hope you're not busy. It would be terrible. I really do need to. I'm not getting fucked for you. Uh, my fucking hand. <laughs> what did you think of that breakfast sandwich I made you? It was delicious. It was even better. I ate some and I was like, this is fucking good. And then I went for a run and I came back and I was like, holy shit, this is even better. I'm not giving lunch for that idiot. <laughs> Never mind, just leave it uh, so I can stay. Meeting at your place? Really quick? Okay. Sure. Uh, cool. Sorry to leave you waiting, Miss Basil. I'm going to need him soon. Don't take him for too long from me, okay? Of course, there's a quick conversation. I need this now, we gotta move. Okay. Are you fucking- I can go get you- God, it's fucking every time with these people. I know what a shitty bottle of wine looks like. Oh. You're not normally this serious. Uh, well, uh, I don't know how serious it is, but, uh, um, there he is, okay. Can I help you? Let's go, come on. Uh, we need to talk. Sure. Well, remember I, oh, I don't know if I told you this. Well, um, you know how I can write things, right? You know, Tazim came in one day and asked me to do some things. I'm going to put two and two together, sure. Yeah, okay. So, somebody asked me to write something a couple days back, uh, Basically, it was a uh, warrant for you and Tazim. That's so. Uh, I didn't do it. Same day, a bunch of people tried to kill you and Tazim. Now, had I written that warrant, I feel like the end results of that would have been a little bit different. Might have had the guards on their side. Do you want to? Do, I don't. You're not saying anything. <laughs> not sure if you want me out or in. Out. Probably best if you stay outside. So, from what I know, uh, that well, basically hit on you was uh, put out by the Nolno family. They're Blackrock. 
Interesting. Nolno? And I know you folks went and, uh, I believe it was Nolno. Mm hmm. You and a bunch of other people, well, I saw you on a cart yesterday, and I know you were going to go, uh, well, intercept that, uh, shipment, right? Mm, kind of, something along those lines. I'm not sure the details. I, I read the letter, and that was to the, to the Capitano, but, uh, do we still have that letter? I don't know what letter you're talking about. I wasn't here when a letter was made. Uh, likely Baz has it if we do. Okay, we're gonna need it. I'm trying to build evidence against the Capitana right now. Okay. <sighs> What'd you find? Make note. Sure. No, no. Anyway. You're talking about the cart? Yeah. A bit of spice. You what? You I saw you all. I passed you on the road. I saw you all riding on a cart to go somewhere, and I know it has something to do with the letter that you found, right? Yeah, yeah. I uh, yeah. peeked <clears throat> over the head and found it. Hmm. So what was it? Why does it matter? gone now. It's gone now? Hmm. Shit. Why did you need it? We need evidence. I mean, you can't just... So. Currently... There's two groups in the guard of this city, right? One that follows Capitano, one that follows the Custode. Correct. Right? Come in. Door opens. Correct. I split down the middle in terms of rank. So in order for the Custode to make a move against the Capitano, he needs evidence. Correct. That shipment could have been evidence that we could match with the letter. Unfortunately, <laughs> apparently that's gone now. Evidence for what? Getting rid of the Capitano. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> There's plenty of other evidence that's more suitable rather than this stuff. Is it concrete, or is it circumstantial, or it's verbal? Signed by names. There's a guardsman. There's a guardsman I met today. A town guard. What's town guard name? way out of his area. Fenton? Fenton. Yeah, I talked to him. He seems to be completely and irrevocably against everything having to do with the Capitano. He answers to the custody. Maybe if yes, we get I a conversation to with this custody. Here's the problem. We need to go to the custody with actual evidence. We have evidence. Otherwise, we have so much fucking evidence against him. Show me. Uh, we don't have the cart. We have a letter. That's it. There's no. There's no evidence to go with the letter. We have a letter about somebody always being late to meetings. Or the coffee town always being late to meetings. We're handling things. We're gathering no things and once is, we have enough. Like that. What things? What's your plan of action? Because right now I'm caught in the middle of all this. Why are you caught in the middle of all this? What have you done? I told you what I did. Then how does that put you as being caught in the middle of it? Because Capitano's <coughs> men just bow, tried to knock down my door, look for me outside of town. Who knows they, what they would have uh, done? They 
told Vaz to beat the shit out of you. And if they come in the morning and you're not all purple, they're going to beat you to death. So our plan is we're going to have Basil pretty you up with makeup, make you look all bruised up, except for your face. You'll take one real good kisser, okay? Mm, all right. Yeah, and then you're going to look all bruised up. You're going to act all bruised up. And then you're <coughs> satisfied. Alright. Scheming. But the only reason they would want to do that is if that, uh... Well. You know. They what say that I've been, t I've been running my mouth to the guards. And that's not true. It wasn't? The real reason in my mind is that I was talking to the, or I didn't do the uh, deal with this Nolno family and they want to teach me a lesson. Hmm. How do they know about your ability to do this? Well, you know, I thought I could trust somebody and they basically said, oh yeah, just, you know, you need this to be done, talk to this guy. Yeah, that's a fucking running trend, isn't that it? That tends to happen a lot. Who yeah. told them? So we can avoid similar They're mistakes. Almost, don't worry about them. Well, it's less about, no. you know, tying up loose ends. It's more that I don't yeah. want to trust that person. If you run into a guy named Edward. <clears throat> don't trust him. Understood. No Edwards. Understood. Kind of got a. The Capitano, what? Blonde he hair. I think he's got something. a goatee. Say again, sir. Not, well, let's not frame him. You can see him frame himself. We don't need to frame him. So we he's wait for his next shit. shipment, or we can set up a shipment mm -hmm. for him. Catch him in the act. Get the custody there. Show him right there who he is. That's the evidence he fucking needs to watch him in the act, dealing drugs into the town. We have something similar. I can set all of that up. We have, oh. like I said, things in motion. If we... If we still have that letter, I can try and write a new one. He gives you a pointed look. That is in the same handwriting. Alright. Not sure if that will work. Might not. Might. Run that by me again. Uh... Well, what happened to the last shipment? Destroyed. Destroyed? Alright. What happened to the person dealing with the last shipment? Dead. Shit. Alright, yeah, it won't work. Unless Capitano doesn't know. I need... But if the last shipment never showed up, there's a good chance he just assumes they're dead. Well, his, his letter was intercepted, right? So he never got it. Right. I need people well, was it to no. just take a beat. He did get it. Okay. That's he all I need. It. Fuck. What do you need? Just take a beat. <sighs> Welcome in, Vez. Hello. Okay. I heard you have to beat the shit out of me. <clears throat> yes. No update on Ziggler. He went in, they received him safely, but... I don't know if he's... He's either trying to dig up information or he's already doomed. But we won't know until the morning. Where is Ziggler? Or tonight. The embassy. The embassy? To get information on... Yes. These... What? The traitors. The radicalists. And to collect his tools. Ah, <sighs> Vezrin, do you have any evidence to uh, incriminate the Capitano in his uh, dealings? What we're working on. Exactly. Yeah. We're working on it. We I need... would have had some if it hadn't been just <clears throat> been destroyed. Again. What? You were saying, Sharik. I just need people to take a beat, lay low, 
and we'll handle things. As soon as everyone starts running off and doing their own thing, all of this falls apart. Everything needs I mean, to that's be... That's why I came here as soon as I possibly could. Thank you. Everything needs to be lined up exactly right, and as soon as it starts, we cannot stop until it is tied up in a nice bow. Otherwise, that's it, gone. So, no one go off half-cocked. No one go off and fuck with things that don't need to be fucked with right now. The status quo needs to be maintained right up until the last possible moment. Then it will be dealt with. Which means I have to... Beat you up, Marco. I did find Basil. She has eyeshadows and that and other makeups and stuff. So we can just make him look mostly bruised up and you just give him one good kisser on the cheek. It'll need to be more than one. Otherwise, they won't believe it. There needs to be at least one real <clears throat> cut. Cut? I thought you just had to beat him up. I mean, have I you have to make him. Face? I have to make I him hope, black guess, and yeah. blue. They said well, I either I have beat you at the or... bathhouse right now, reserved. So I'm gonna spend the night there. Basil can do it overnight then. Perfect. Oh. <coughs> so should we get this out of the way now? Because they're going to look at my knuckles to make sure I actually did something. Not in my house, please. Watch a wall for me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Mm, I thought about it actually. Honestly, the wall would do less damage. <laughs> really? Look at your fucking angles. Do I need to call you a chiseled <laughs> god to your face? It's like punching oh, a dice. An Adonis. Exactly. <laughs> it's like punching a diamond. <laughs> That's why we call you Sparkle. You might not sparkle for a bit with the bruise on your face, but I think you'll be fine later on. Well, they call it a shiner. <laughs> wow, he's really fucking winding up. Look at him no, go. He's been waiting for this for a while. <laughs> Like You're whining up. <laughs> 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 what exactly did you say about the guards? Hey, I didn't say anything about the guards, that's the thing. You missed this conversation. So, uh... Long story short, uh... Some people working for a family in, that lives in Black <clears throat> Rock, the Nolo family wanted me to forge a document to incriminate him and Azim. Shariq, we need to I talk. did not do it. Well, I, I did do it, and I then I burned it in front of the guy to say, no, I'm not doing this. Okay, well, you need and to beat the fuck out of him. Yeah, now they're pissed. You guys, leave my house, please. Go the back door. <clears throat> um, let's go, let's go. Uh, Get, make sure the car. There's a guard out. Leaving. Yeah, there's a yeah. man out there with a sword. I'll grab him. Yeah, you, you go. go you ahead, go tell go him. Way. We'll go around yeah, the yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Back at your shop or elves where? disassemble. Shop. <coughs> oh, okay. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. <laughs> You're gonna want to sit down for this one. Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> It's a sit-down conversation, but your... not that it's, prominent that you forgot more like about a... Well, listen, the only reason I forgot about it is because I was high as fuck. Both in and out of character. So, anyway. Last night, I spoke to a new friend that I've made. And he told me that he has a couple of adversaries mm -hmm. coming in. Adversaries means enemies, right? So yeah, played. yeah. Okay, so, I asked him, well, who is that? He said it's the Dread Knives, and they're going to notice. Soon. I know, you can get pissed at me for forgetting that. I'm pissed at myself. I meant to tell you first thing in the morning, but... Who? What? A drow. That's the only reason I believe him. It's because he's the only one that could see them. Uh, 
Another drow or the kid? The little slave? A different drow. Hmm, okay. Strange. I trust him because he didn't tell me for any reason. He was gloating. Fuck. You said um, they come in. I just town. want you to be ready. Yes. Maybe before you leave? I don't know. But this drow also does not fucking like any of them. They have done him dirty, just as they've done you. Tread knives do everyone he dirty. He plans to kill them. <clears throat> yes. I wanted you to know. Because if I stay, I will be able to handle that if it doesn't get handled before you leave. He's already allowed me to help him fight them and kill them. Hmm. He just showed up last night and but trusts you that much. I want your permission, much. I guess. I don't think trust is to be talked about. We're business partners. Like I said, he was gloating. He seems like he's got everything figured out. Another free-thinking drow. He's not from the Underdark. Oh, he is. Just not any time recently. Okay. Well, um... I'd be careful. It's not the... F <laughs> okay, I worry that he's gonna sell you out. There we go. That's something that the Dread Knives do quite frequently, so watch for that. <clears throat> Luckily, he is not a Dread Knife. He is just someone that <clears throat> they fucked over. He's just a maybe guy. Maybe for trade. Maybe. Hmm. Or maybe he's <clears throat> a powerful drug lord of the underground. I don't know much about him yet. And I can't divulge everything in case he's listening. I do know that he can, and probably does, possess magic. Either I was hallucinating off my ass when I was high, or he... D dis disintegrated right in front of me. Uh, if I'm going to believe that anyone strange knows magic, it is going to be a drow, I see. We are magic. <clears throat> I just, I need you to trust me. You don't need to trust any of these people. Because I will prepare you with all of the information you need to take care of these people before you leave. And if they don't come, that's enough reason for me to stay and handle it for you. It's the least I can do. <clears throat> you don't need to get caught up in this. These people on my list, uh, I need to handle. I can tell from the way you look at me that it is personal, and I know that it's personal from what you've said. Very. So I hope that they come before you leave, and I will let you know exactly where they will be and what is going on when it happens. Works for me. I cannot promise your safety, but I will protect you as best I can. It's fine. Hmm. Yeah, that is big. <laughs> you the moment they said the black whatever, the whatever, I fucking remember black rock. <clears throat> yeah. We have time though. Plenty to prepare. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you'll get to finish it up right before you leave. Wouldn't that be nice? It would be. Close that chapter. It would be very nice. If you don't mind writing down the names of the specific ones you want to look for, I can get more information soon. 
I won't ask him all at once, just in case he gets suspicious, but I'll find my way to work it out of him. If he knows these individuals, if they are the ones coming, just so you don't waste your time. One name, two people. Deltone. Deltone. The twins. I will try to remember that. If I forget, I'll ask <clears throat> you to write it down. Right. <laughs> yeah. But I'll try not to. I'm going to bury it in my brain. You're going to get worry lines. Mm -hmm. Your forehead all scrunched up like that. Sorry. <laughs> Just uh... don't say sorry to me. You're going to be the one looking at yourself in your reflection and wondering why am I so wrinkly. <laughs> <sighs> I used to scowl a lot too. You I, know that though. I know. <laughs> Look what it's done to my face. My eyes. It's not that bad. <laughs> I've sunken in because I was. Mm. I've looked better. I look old. I look like I'm f falling apart. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, that's about it. Unless I forgot something. <laughs> Thanks for uh, telling me. Yeah, I thought it would be good news. Maybe a little anxiety-inducing, but good none the same. <sighs> you will not be alone. What'd you say earlier? A crossbow would be nice. Well, you have my bow. I can promise you, you have my bow for this. We'll make it hurt. We'll make it hurt real bad. <clears throat> yeah, I hope so. <sighs> Let's uh, take a lap of the city real quick. See who's around. Good idea. If it's quiet, I might just turn in, but we'll see. Also a fine idea. I'll be doing that soon as well after one moment. You just try to kick me. No, the I fuck? kicked my beanbag. Bitch. Bitch. Come on. Oh my god, I can hear it. <laughs> Shouldn't it be nighttime by now? Oh. Agony. Far more painful than, than yours. yours. Ding, 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 ding. <gasps> oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, I got to be somewhere, I think. <laughs> Agony. Okay. Marsh, Stay marsh, safe. Marsh, marsh. Dude, no one can see us right now. We could go around fucking terrorizing people. You say that, but they're <laughs> fucking... I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good night, Sarah. Oh, don't worry. You too. Oh, there you are. I wonder if he turns the fucking lights off. Who is that? It's 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 me. Your conscience. Give Sharik a raise. Where are you, motherfucker? Never. Where are you? <laughs> oh, oh God! I'll never listen to you again. No, 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 no. It's me. It's me. It's me to see. <laughs> Rolling. <laughs> that was my fucking. With a critical <laughs> one, you, you, your your leg goes wide and you fall on your ass, man. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. 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 
Let that be a lesson, old man. Foiled by my own son. It was always gonna end this way. <laughs> With this one action, you are now the head of your house. Good luck. Heavy is the head. The special hood and hangs from someone else's belt. Okay. <laughs> but I came to tell you. Yeah. That if you have. Well, uh, well, I have to know first of all. It's been a ridiculously busy day. Yeah, I figured. How long do you have? Oh. 30 minutes, an hour maybe. An hour would be best, because I need to let my legs rest if you take my leave. <clears throat> okay. An hour. Good, then tell Sarah and tell <clears throat> Tordy that I'm going to need them. Alright, I'll find them. We have to go check something out. Yep. If I may parlay with you, since it's technically the sun's down and the day has ended. Okay, it's kind of funny. You only banned me for a day, right? So can I technically come inside now? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be needed very soon. I don't want to be in the dark. I actually don't like it here. Stick with me. Okay, I'm available. Holy shit, is that binging with Babish? Alright, come on. Oh, right now? Okay. Thank you for not tickling me in the night. If I may parlay with you. I'm over here. Who the right fuck is Mr. Oz? Yeah, we need to find uh, Sarah. Oh, she was just here. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Um, probably. She said, whatever you do, don't go out at night or go out of town at night. So, probably out, maybe. Uh. It was nice. How every time you, you no, can't, can't see I'm not, it, it gets me every time. Hopefully, if there's a permanent ban, you know, I do enjoy being here. You're being like a very lovely person. Sure. I saw her like five minutes ago, and then Tizim was like, I'm going to need you, and caught her in I was literally her. just talking <clears throat> like a minute before you showed up. Yeah. So. <laughs> Quick check in the back. <sighs> hey, is Sarah running? Yeah, she I haven't no? seen her. Okay, thank you. Saravith. Where the fuck did you go? Did you check her house? <laughs> Empathy. You know what? Dang fuck it. it. I'm going to teach right. you a thing or two. Come with me. All right, cool. <clears throat> oh my god, brigand! Give me your money. I don't have any money. <laughs> I gave it to this cunt called Vezran. Go, go fuck with him. What does he look like? Oh, uh, he's tiny dick. Uh... Like Why do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put your whole fucking house down, <laughs> no. I swear to god. Leave me alone. Oh, you don't like that? Stop. You don't like that, little trial boy? 
Hey, quit bullying him. <laughs> I was, yeah. Yeah, you, you like that? You like that, bitch? Bitch. Baby man. Baby. Huh? Yeah. That's where you get your little snake. Huh? Baby. What? There. What the fuck? It's like, it's like a little snake in the ground. You, you call it, you know? You point at it. After a strong invocation of drown music, you notice as... <laughs> Vezrin Morgul finally disappears from this world. <clears throat> and finally, with auditor <clears throat> magic, I banish you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> of course, as Marcus invokes auditor <laughs> magic, oh, it would be far stronger than drow magic. No. Who are we looking for? Tavern. What Wait. the fuck? Tavern. Maybe. <clears throat> All right, she come on, Tori. Sorry. That was only a taste. You Come on, Tordy. Uh, yeah, okay. Hmm? Oh, uh, so, now that, like, Vezrin's dead and stuff, Tyler. you know, I was thinking, like, you know. Tyler, as you walk on, you also recall that, besides Cerevith, that it's possible that Cade might also be useful <coughs> on a mission. It may be prudent to somehow get in contact with him. Uh, I just had an idea. We should probably oh. maybe grab Cade yeah. as well. Oh, that, that's not seemed to come out of nowhere, but all right, sure. Need to find the other one first. I'm going to teach you a thing or two. Come with me. Okay, okay. <clears throat> what do you teach me? What am I learning? A thing or two. Okay, cool. I love learning things. Yeah. <clears throat> well, when it's not against my will, you know, yeah. You're pretty good at, um... Balance, right? You know, being on a ship and stuff. Yep. Great. Mm hmm Evening, Tang. Evening. Evening. <sighs> <sighs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> Come on. Okay. Thank you. It's a big... Uh, yep. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yep. Oh, this is such an easy way to get up. I struggled so long to figure out how to get up. Yep. There's not really many other easy ways now. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully we see her from here. Now the guards will shoot at you if they see you, so be careful. Absolutely, yeah. Teleport on. Huh? Oh no, this is not where you're meant to be. Get the fuck out of no. me! Get the <laughs> fuck out of here! <laughs> All right, now we're looking for <laughs> Sahara or Cade. Gross. Oh fuck, there's Kate. Is that Kate? Oh, there's Kate. I don't think even recognize him most of the time now. Oh. He broke my fucking armor. I'm so pissed off at him. It's been a relaxing night, fortunately. Okay. Uh, we shall see how long that continues. Swear to God. Swear to the God. It's, it's cryptic. You all need it. Me. Mm-hmm. You said that in a very cryptic manner. Kate, I... I like, it was giving to more silver for the fact you that you broke my fucking armor. Person, I, will I already, I already did. My heart. <laughs> Two more. <laughs> you know, I gave you the fucking damage deposit, plus the extra, plus the extra two silver on top of that. 
I know, but I'm still so. Oh my god, you look evil as you, fuck. How the? <laughs> well, you're <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Holy fuck. Uh, put oh your butt up and put it down. Oh my god. <laughs> I shouldn't be. There you go. <laughs> Sarah, we need you. Sarah. We need you. No, 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 no. Um, Tazim needs you. Tazim, Tazim is gonna need all three of us, or four of us, um, very soon, once he's done. Okay. Yep. He didn't cause any disruption. Okay. Tazim's gonna need okay. us, uh, tonight for something, Cade. So. Real success of the day, I suppose. I'm not there. Public enemy to everyone. Yeah, fuck me too. Right. Which I suppose is a nice start to a first impression of any. And I don't have an extra tank chest for you. It's great. You are I'm just, just hoping that I am kind of looking the around for this to or, or the leg. Um, Sleep, um, so I no, technically, I have his chest piece done, but I'm not Are letting you, you break a third one. Not, in yeah, two that days. is fine. That is fine. Yeah. I assume yeah. yours is can have more um, than just the. You would know. I mind walking you home if you would permit it? Leather. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, right this way. Mm -hmm. I believe. Otherwise, will be like a free. No. Just, if he breaks another piece of armor within the next couple of days, I break his legs for you. That sounds great. Thank you. You know yeah. what this look is about. Well, that just causes more business for so much. I'm getting used to it, and I recommend you get used to it as well. It's a win-win. I heard you in there. Oh, we gotta go. Is that the potty dance? You have to. You have to go shishi. -shi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we should probably no, go. Nothing to worry about. Or we got time to wait. We got time to wait, but you know how he is. <clears throat> okay. He's he's yeah. making sure his boots fit. Yeah. I've said my piece. I've told you what you. <gasps> right. Have to I've told you exactly Hold what on. is happening. If we're being sneaky, right? Right. And do you know Here. the stakes? You told her a bunch of stuff she did not need to know about. Such as. I'm gonna walk this way. Talk about it. You mean the open. public knowledge? <sighs> Fuck. Like a fucking cryptid. Running around in the dark is dangerous. Oh my god, I did oh, not dear. even see you there. <laughs> Who's the sticky one now? <clears throat> wow. You really blend in, we have the cloak up. You heading out soon? As requested. Hmm. Do you need anything else before you go? I believe he's just inside. I'll go with him now. Well. Bit of good luck. You seem to carry with you. I will send some your way. I'm free to keep up with your training. I will. Be doing skulking around at night. I don't see I'm skulking, I'm just walking. I don't need light or anything, so I just kinda I'm gathering some people together oh, to see wants us to is that what skulking means? I thought skulking was like To be fair, when I watched you skitter that way, you did kind of have a It's natural. <clears throat> We're gathering some people together for to help Tizzy with something. I'm doing exactly what he asked me to do, so. Yeah. Finish your stuff when I get back. Don't slack. You got I'll it. Beat you with a switch. Best of luck. <clears throat> Don't need it.
Did you get everyone I needed? Yep. Oh. Did you get Shilbrook as well? I did. I had the thought. Maybe he'd be useful. I'm flattered. Down shortly. Okay. <clears throat> Am I one? Like three assets? Oh, oh, right. Are you naked? Yes, of oh. course. Just like this. I'm on my, my way. <laughs> no lord. <laughs> no lord. He's naked. No, it's late. Uh -huh. Won't be the first time. <laughs> True. I mean, consider it an intimidation <laughs> tactic. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, look, okay, well, really well, though, what do you do if, you're, if you turn and your eyes lock onto a man who's wailing at you, charging at you full speed, completely in the nude, waggling all over the place? I mean, that's kind of For uncomfortable. Free? <laughs> you had to help the man change his clothing, all right? He's struggling, okay? You should be up there helping him, Marcus. Hey, I was not being mean.